All right, take two on the Lingering Eye boss fight. Uh, off screen, I went all the way down the uh, legs of the Ancient Giant, which was stupid. Um, I also got level uh, Jamie to level 30, which hopefully will be helpful. Um, and they're testing the uh, alarm on our building, so that's annoying. Um, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Toxic Sludge, attack one, attack one. Toxicosis. You never want both of the eyes to be closed at once. So, you also don't want them to be... You don't want... Yeah. If both the eyes are open, then they can't do anything against you, basically. Does that count as a physical attack? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth doing. I also... Because they're, uh, they're eyes, I would think they would be vulnerable to a light-based attack. Yeah, okay, so now one of them is closed, but that's fine. Um... We're gonna try to be doing, um, uh, just guarding. This is gonna be a slow fight, but we're uh, gonna be try to do, um, acid and poison damage throughout the fight. And that should be good. Um, right, because acid and poison are, are different effects, so let's put poison on you. Guard, guard. Oh, and Andrew has mind control. That's dumb. Still not doing anything, so... Now you have poison and acid. Alright, so let's start doing some, um... Actually, no. Let's heal ourselves a bit. Guard. If it sounds like I'm in a Five Nights at Freddy's game, <laughs> um, my window is rattling in the wind. It's really annoying. I might have to tell my building about it, but yeah, oh well. Um, okay, now nobody is being mind controlled, so that's ideal. We're gonna imagine that we're a bear, um, which is a sentence that only makes sense if you're playing this game. Um, and Rampage you and have Lars attack you, and put poison on you. Ow, ow, ow. Nice. Alright. Black Spiral you, normal attack you, and just alternate. Nice. Okay, Black Spiral is good. Good, 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 good. Alright. Rampage you. Um. No. Okay. High five you. Oh my god. Uh. Heal yourself, Andrew. Picked a bad time. Okay. Andrew's dead. Andrew's dead. Okay, we don't want that. Black Spiral, you. You use an alarm clock on Andrew. Please, 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 please. No, because Lars is startled. Okay. Oh, and Jimmy, uh, Jimmy is under mind control. Damn. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, you. Pep Talk, Andrew. You guard. Please. Don't die, Jimmy. You died, Jimmy. Okay, revive Jimmy. Heal Andrew. Please don't do anything stupid. Okay. So far, so good. Now you rampage you. 
Black Spiral you, and the rest of you don't do anything stupid. Ow. Oh, don't kill Helga, please. I need Helga. You, high five you, you guard, and we need our poison damage again, so let's get that going. Yes, don't die, Jimmy. Stay alive. Like the Bee Gees song, staying alive. Um, they're still testing the alarm. That's great. You high five yourself. You guard. And you toxicosis the other one. Hooray! Don't do that. Don't kill Helga. Fine. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay. Just gotta hang in there because we have plenty of alarm clocks. Use an alarm clock on Helga. Use an alarm clock on Andrew. Uh, wait, what am I saying? Use uh, ants on a log on Andrew. And you guard. Revive Helga. Revive Andrew. We can do this. We can do this. Um, toxic Sludge on you. Black Spiral you. Normal attack you. Or not. Crap. We're... Okay, we're not screwed. I hate the mind control, dude. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, you... Revive Helga. And, um... Cryodynamics on you. God, he can't revive Helga. Because he was startled. Okay, Cryodynamics is really good. We should be using it more. Um... Sorry. Oh, I wanted cryo uh, not the toxicosis. We already have the toxicosis. God, if... Oh, no. oh, shoot. Okay. This has to work. Please die. This has to work. We did it. We did it, 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 we did it. This is it, Jimmy. The secret knowledge. Inside we might find a way to finally destroy the pulsating mass. Jimmy tries his best to read, but the words keep worming around on the page. Oh no. Buck, what's gotten into you, man? You got those red eyes. What do you think this is, Five Nights at Freddy? Oh my. Buck, don't be a jerk. What are you reading that book for? You some kind of nerd now? Think some dumb book's gonna help you? book's not gonna make you stronger. Look at you, so weak. I can pick you up with one arm. Hold it right there. Yes! My favorite character! Let me tell you three things about Punch Tanaka. One, Punch Tanaka doesn't remember how he got here. All he remembers is a long fall and an even longer dream. What did he dream about? Fighting. Inner turmoil. The soul of a man. And you know what? The kid was there sometimes. And he was fine by me. Two. I really hate the pulsating mass. Hate it deep. And you muscles, you got its smell all over you. How can I tell? Used to work for it. I'm not proud of it, but I did. Now life's given me a second chance. Life's weird like that. Hold on, I'm feeling some words coming up. 
bear in a clown wig forced to ride a tiny bike. But he's still a bear. Haiku. Where did that come from? What does it mean? I can't say for sure. Things are a little foggy right now. I'm feeling a little lightheaded, and if I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda just going on instinct. But I know the kid's in danger, and I know that book's important. Which brings me to number three. My mama always told me there's one thing that makes everyone special. One thing that they can do that's better than everyone else. I've never known what that is for me. I always thought it had to do with my perfect hair. But when I jumped off that bridge down into that deep, never-ending darkness, I learned what it was that Punch Shinnok can do better than anyone else. The one thing that made him extra special. Falling from really high places. No, you imbecile! If the secret knowledge falls into the ocean, it will doom us all! Buck, you seem to have turned into some kind of horrible monster. I'm disappointed in you, son. No, Cinnamon Bun! Not after I just found you again! Buck, could you stop uh, pinning me to the wall? This isn't a steamy romance novel. Why does everyone care about that stupid book? Hmph. Cause we hate the pulsating mass, idiot. I'll pound your face in some other time. And he has creepy bat wings. Canonically. I love canonically, it's one of my new favorite words. Hey Jimbo, you know me. I'm not a brave man. I'm not a very strong man. Not really capable in any way, really. But Helga is my only sister. I wouldn't say you're not cap capable, Lars. You really care deeply. Whenever you're about to do something scary, the best thing to do is imagine a relaxing place. If you think about it really hard, you can live in a place like that. Then, no matter what your life is like, no matter who pushes you around, you can be happy there. Me? I'm gonna imagine a nice warm beach. A vacation would be really nice right about now. Well, that's the end of this chapter of Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. We'll be back to Secret Meridian for um, the optional dungeons at some point. Oh. Oh, God. Hello? Can I, can I save and quit? I cannot. I can't even switch forms. It looks like some kind of intestine lining. Does it go on forever? Looks like we're coming to a clearing. Oh god. It looks like the pulsating mass, alright. We're deep inside it. This reminds me of the ending of Earthbound. It's Earthbound, alright. We reach out to touch the pulsating mass. Our hand gets closer and closer to it. And... Okay. Oh, you're finally up? Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> I'm so sad that I, I decided to record this wonderful part of the game during a, while they're testing my building's alarm bell. So I guess things got pretty stressful there. I kind of thought because I weigh so much I'd be able to fall fast enough to catch Helga. I guess falling doesn't work like that. Come to think of it, she jumped way before me. I guess it was a bad plan all around. I couldn't find your brother or your dad either. Or that guy with the weird hair. There's no way around it. We failed pretty hard. That's okay, though. I'm used to this kind of thing. There's no need to worry about everyone. We both survived, so they're probably fine too. Before I found you, I walked up and down the beach for hours. I asked some other people if they'd seen you, but no one had. Once I thought I saw you, but it was just a dolphin. I guess it was pretty majestic. Then a crab pinched me. I was really tired, but I thought I might not see anyone again, and that made me keep looking. Let's take a day off, Jimmy. Just you and me. Sounds good. This is pretty fun, huh, Jimbo? Sure. It's good to just hang out again. Just tossing the frisbee, hanging out, looking at the beach. That one almost made it to me. You've got to use your wrist more. Here, watch. 
Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Bonk. Hello, bikini lady. Forgive me, um, madam. Guess I don't know my own strength. Must be all of those, uh, athletics I do. Um, okay. I was just tossing the old discaroo with my favorite nephew. Wanna join us? Um... That could have gone better. God, he... What is he doing? He falls down on his knees? God, this, oh my God, I don't even know what to say to prepare you for this next part. Hey, Jimmy, are you embarrassed by me? It's okay if you are. I think a lot about what would happen if your dad kicked me out. I don't know why he hasn't yet. I'm lazy and pathetic. Most people are grossed out by me. I try not to think about it, but I do. It's hard to find people in this world that care about you. You're lucky because you have a mom and dad who are still alive that care for you very much. Wish I could find someone who could love me as much as I love them, but nobody wants anything to do with me. I don't blame them. If only I could get a nice Asian girlfriend. Asian girls are perfect, Jimmy. They're cute and smart and like video games. If I had an Asian girlfriend, she would be nice to me. She would think I was funny and love me for who I am. We could watch anime together and start a family. That would be the most fun, I think. Well, I guess our day is almost over. Thanks for hanging out with me, Jimmy. Tomorrow we'll find Helga. I just know it. Maybe we'll find Buck, too. And your dad, I guess. Meanwhile, Chica's banging on my window. Trying to get in. Andrew and Helga's equipment has been removed. Well, don't do that. Okay, fine. All right, welcome to the next continent. Uh, I've been recording for almost an hour, so we're gonna have to edit this, but um, yeah, thank you as always for coming on the wild ride that is Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass with me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.